Good morning, folks. Welcome to another edition of the Earth-Facing Solar Quiet. No big CMEs, no big flares, all despite the large and previously active sunspots on the Earth side of the sun. Right now, a thin dark plasma filament center disk is about the only significant eruption threat facing us. The Earth-Facing Quiet comes as a sunspot group that still wants to be a bit active here, turns into face Earth, and simply shuts down. The other spots aren't doing much either, but this one was giving M flares before catching sight of Earth. Now we just have minor mixing potential in the center where you see the positive blue umbras. Remember folks, this is what the Maunders saw before the sun shut down 400 years ago. The sun muting activity in our direction. We've got seven days of solar wind telemetry here to show you the coronal hole impact we took a few days ago and the waning readings now. That stream is ending. The electrons are recovering, and Earth's shield is calm. As you watch the dark coronal holes now exiting Earth-facing positions, let's do a post-analysis of the quake factors for the seven-pointer that struck Vanuatu 36 hours ago. In addition to a coronal hole solar wind stream, which elevated the space weather factors, the northern coronal hole itself had a one-day intensification event from green middle of the road power up briefly into yellow and red during the earthquake we had some short-lived powerful interplanetary magnetic field activity also the planets were lining up geocentrically Mars and Neptune were conjoined but also the long-standing quasi lineup of Venus Mercury Earth and Jupiter continued with Mercury almost in direct opposition of Zeus that day while we're on solar system magnetic fields, we got a polar fields update. As you can see, the end of 2014 still shows that the solar polar flip, the sun's magnetic reversal, was not complete. First 2015 reading, the north is back positive, so we'll see if this is finally the finale. In the U.S. and Canada, Pacific flows enter at Vancouver and travel all the way east to meet the backside of these low pressure systems. To give you an idea of just what the atmosphere is working with here, I'll toss up the humidity at cloud level to show what is being chilled by Arctic air and dropping as major winter storm events across the states. Worst of it will be in the east this weekend. In Europe, you can see a convergence crested onto the mainland continent here, another latitude to longitude flow up out of the east, and a low in the south just off the Mediterranean. When I pull the cloud overlay to the wind map, you can see how they stick to the convergences and to the low. These areas could see some major precipitation and accumulation this evening. For those who don't know how the global rain belt moves season to season, perhaps you can recall that one area of Australia has been getting pounded with rain lately. In fact, it's a huge area that sees this sort of thing every turn of the new year. It's just really bad this time. Tonight, down under, the convergence is hard to see, but you can easily see that there are different air flows seeming to be heading for the northeast coastline of Australia. Precipitable water overlay shows the monsoon season in full swing to these areas. Same type of thunderstorm watches tonight. It is Saturday, so... Over at suspiciousobservers.org, we'll be doing Fly on the Wall. Got some interesting topics today and some serious ones as well. The link to the website can be found right below this video. Membership is hilariously cheap. Just click become a member. We appreciate your support very much. You're seeing the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, 2.55 a.m. in the West. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.